I really don't know why, but in my head, I start making up that he must have been cheating on me with at least one of these girls. I ended up contacting an ex-boyfriend who I hadn't talked to for years. Welcome back to They Did What? Your source for the internet's craziest, most entertaining stories where I go with them, analyze them, and most certainly make fun of them. Today, I'm going to go over a story titled, I, a 28-year-old female, cheated because I thought my husband cheated on me. He's left the house and has not said a single word to me. Please help. And shout out to Brian for sending me this story. And guys, this story, which is two parts, but two parts in one, it's about a gal, like, like it says here, she's 28 years old, married, and pretty much she's having a meltdown because her husband's done with her. You're going to see in this story, guys, that she justifies her cheating on him because she thought he was cheating on her. And you'll see more about that as I get into the story. And obviously, that didn't really... Her thought, that he, instead of con, uh, confronting him and all that, she decides to cheat on him and all that. And now she's having a whole meltdown. And like I said, let me let me tell you, she's having the biggest, look at, the biggest pity party I've seen in a long time. I mean, it's just a good lord. But guys, this just never ceases to amaze me here. So, jumping right into it, she says here, Hi, I would like to try to keep this as short as I can. I apologize in advance for any misspellings and bad grammar. I'm not from the English-speaking country originally. I am from Europe. I've been together with my husband for over six years. We've been married for four years and have a 20-month-old son together. So, six years, he started dating when, he's 20, when she was 22. Married for four years. She got married 24. Way too young. We met through a friend's home party and connected almost immediately. He started talking to me first. Even uh, the very first time meeting him, he was incredibly handsome, very confident, and charming. I know several of the girls, including some of my friends, wanting to talk to him when we were there, but within the first 10 minutes of arriving to the party, he came over to me. I really don't know any perfect word to use it or how I felt at the moment, but if I had to pick, I felt almost chosen by him. We started dating a few days after, and the more time we spent together, the more I started to fall for him. I've always had the feeling of him being completely out of my league, but meeting him never really made me feel unsure that he wanted to be with me. Well, usually it's the guys that feel out of the league with the girls. But this guy obviously is uh, what a lot of the gals would see as a prize. And yet, still, you're going to see what happens here. Uh, I knew in, in beforehand he had been with plenty of women, but it didn't really bother me because he never spoke of it or mentioned it. It didn't bother her because she saw herself as winning him. You know, I got the piece that all the girls wanted. And now he's mine. Ha, ha, ha. The few times I asked him if he really wanted a relationship or if he was sure about us, he always told me he loved me and that he does not care about other women. After two years, we end up getting married. Smack. He knew her for two years and married her. That's the dumbest thing ever. That's dumb for a man doing the proposing or the, or the woman agreeing to that. Two years is way too short. But people don't get that until they've gone through the whole experience. Here comes the, the police again. Good Lord. After two years, we end up getting married. We tried having a child and got a beautiful son. He always wished to have a son and daughter. And we're planning on having another child. I always loved my husband more than anyone can imagine. But after giving birth, I gained a bit of weight. He always told me he didn't care that he loved me no matter what. He suggested I start training with him. He goes to the gym about four to five times a week. And then we could start this as an active activity together. I always said yes, but we never end up going together for several different reasons. He never got out of shape and regularly went training in the gym without trying to invite me there. As time moved on and the baby was taking most of our time and our SEX life got less and less, but he always assured me that he was still attracted to me. So this guy sounds like a pretty good guy. You know, okay, she gained weight during raising a ch in child. She gained weight through her pregnancy and all that. Okay, that can happen. But he's trying to help her with the gym and all that, be supportive and say, hey, I love you anyway. It's a good guy. But she should be taking action to drop that weight because if he takes care of himself, then she should do that too. Sure, it's going to take a little time. That's fine. But she's not doing anything. Goes on here. 
Uh, most of the time he would try to initiate the SCX, but I would turn it down, mostly because of my belief my, myself and because I was insecure in my body and myself around him. This is still a huge regret for me. He even told me we could leave the baby at our parents' house, his or mine, to get some alone time together, but for some reason I kept neglecting him. My self-esteem kept becoming worse and worse, and he was trying to cheer me up and encouraging me. He obviously doesn't care, okay? Man has needs, and if you don't take care of him, eventually it's going to get, push him too far. And this kind of leads in the direction where she thinks he has something going on, but he really doesn't. Uh, when we go out somewhere, I could see other women looking at him or trying to make eye contact with him. And it would bother me, and I would tell him about it, and he would ensure me that he only loved me. And clearly he did. Uh, one day he came home from work, long work hours at the hospital, and he went straight to bed telling me he is exhausted. I started looking into his phone and looking at his Instagram messages, messenger messages, and I could see several chats with different women, some of whom are his ex-girlfriends. Well, if what she's saying is accurate, he shouldn't be talking to his ex-girlfriend. But probably what's going on is these gals are bombarding him with attention. That's probably what's going on. Uh, he had been asked to go meet for a coffee or if they would want to meet up somewhere just as friends. But he always turned them down. See? They're reaching out to him. Hey, you want to get together? Because women don't care. And he turns them down. But, uh, and that seems like that's it. I even saw archive messages of an ex who messaged him out of the blue and asked if he wanted to meet up for good times, which was referring to sex. Yeah, we know that. And he had responded, I have a wife, and he blocked her. See? Now, by the way, she's snooping on his phone. Not cool. If he, if she was, uh, if he was snooping on her phone and uh, obviously had no reason to do so, she'd be freaking out, right? I really don't know why, but in my head I started making up that he must have been cheating on me with at least one of these girls. I ended up contacting an ex-boyfriend who hadn't talked for two in years. One thing led to another, and we met up at a hotel close by. You can see there in the art that he wasn't meeting up with these girls, that he was turning them down left and right. But in her warped mind, she's going to screw up the whole thing. You heard this whole thing. This is a good guy. He obviously works at a hospital. I'm assuming he's a doctor. Does well, treats her well, doesn't rush her to lose the weight, says he still loves her anyway, and she finds a way to sabotage the whole thing. What a fucking idiot. This guy deserves better. She, He is out of her league. At first, I just wanted some sort of payback, SCX. As we ended up having SCX, I was filled with incredible regret. Too bad, honey. This all happened during the day, and my husband was at work, and had no idea I ever had sus a suspicion. It took me three days, and as he came home one day, and we were in front of the television, I started crying and told him everything. Of course, she made sure to have the waterworks there, just a little insurance policy to try to get some sympathy. I just kept looking at me, but didn't say a single word. He went upstairs and locked the door in our bedroom. I followed him and was crying at the door, but didn't say a single word to me. That is the number one way to make a woman crazy, when you just don't give her anything. The silent treatment, or just walk away. Because they want to be engaged. They want the drama. And the way they handle things is communication. But usually shitty communication. It took him a long time, but he finally came out, but immediately left the house, and I haven't heard a single word from him. He didn't even say anything to me when leaving and was not even looking at me. I've tried to call him at least a hundred times, but he still hasn't responded. And I have no idea where he has gone. Too bad. This all happened yesterday, and I haven't heard a word from him. I'm scared to contact him or his own, or my own family because I'm scared of them to find out. Please, I really don't know what to do and just want to save my marriage. I have an incredible feeling of disgust and regret, and I don't even know why I, don't, I didn't trust him. I know most of these roots down to my own insecurities, but I just want my husband back. He has left me with our baby. How can I get in contact with him? What can I do to save my marriage? I apologize again for a bad grammar. My native language is not English, and I'm crying as I write this. Boo freaking who, lady. You had a perfect situation. This guy, You all heard it, guys. This guy's great to her, and she fucked it all up, right? Was he in a rush and making her feel like shit about herself by not losing the weight? And I, I'm getting the impression she put on some weight. She's not looking like a fucking obese pig or anything like that. 
and he still wants to be romantic with her. And she checks his phone because she's looking for anything. And still she sees, yeah, girls are reaching out to him, but he's turning them down. Or he blocked one of them that wanted to have the SEX. He could have cheated, but he didn't. And she used that as an excuse. And this is Miss, I don't like how my body looks, so I won't sleep with my husband. But she had no problem going and hooking up with some old boyfriend or whatever. And now she's upset that he's walking out. If he leaves your ass, it's your fault. And so you're not going to get any pity here, lady. Now for the update to her whiny crybaby situation. She says, hi, sorry for the lack of response on my last post, but my life has been completely ruined. Well, who ruined it? I won't share any more posts on other sections, such as relationship advice and such. I've gotten only a ton of hatred both my posts and my inbox. To the few people who gave me real advice from the heart, I am thankful. To the rest of you, I won't reply. My life is completely ruined. I hate myself more than anything and just wish I can get my husband back. I really don't know how to move on from here. You can't. If he's done with you, he's done with you. All you can do is get an amicable divorce. End of story. And be aware, honey... This guy is so popular with the ladies, he's going to be up to his eyeballs and hoo-ha probably right now, and especially once you guys get divorced. Uh, he came home for a few hours yesterday before picking up and leaving again. When he finally came home, he didn't say anything. Went straight to our son and refused to say a word to me, even though I kept crying. He told me he wanted some alone time with our son. At first, I thought he came to see our son and later wanted to discuss, but after some time, he started packing a bag and I panicked. I started crying and begging him to, to stay and talk about it. I took the advice of being completely transparent and told him that I would tell him everything. And he asked, but he just stood up and looked at me in disgust. Cold way and told me, I don't want to know anything. I know all that I need to know. Yeah, that's all he needs to know. You cheated. End of story. I don't need to know why. I don't need to hear your drama or your tears or any details. We're done. But remember, they want to fight. They want to engage. When a man gives him silence, makes him nuts. Then he just went over and took some more things to put in the bag. I completely panicked and started crying, saying I love him and will do anything to get him back. Then I stopped the uh, SCX midway because I felt guilty. In the middle of that sentence, he pushed me to the wall and held my arm and screamed, I told you to shut the fuck up. Damn. I'm sure you never talked to her like that before. I've never seen him so angry and disgusted, and for a moment I thought he would hit me, but he never did. He's not the type. I tried to hug him, but he refused to touch me and told me I am used, I'm used and broken to him now, and he wants nothing to do with me. This completely broke me inside. I asked what this meant, and he said we will be getting divorced. The only thing he wants right now is to be able to meet our son whenever he wants, but other than that, he wants nothing to do with me. And again, you all heard in her storytelling here, and this is her version, this guy was pretty damn good to her. And this guy could have gotten a lot of different chicks, but he chose her. But her own bullshit and insecurities fucked it up. You make your bed, you line it. The best thing she can do to repay this guy is to respect his wishes, give him an amicable divorce, and that's that. Stop the waterworks, stop the drama, and you're not going to get any pity here. Accountability. But so many people, so many people lack that. Uh, later the same night, he called me on the phone and told me he'll be contacting a lawyer and that he wants a divorce. I don't know what happens now. I've been crying constantly since this all happened. Yeah, we, we got that loud and clear, lady. I'm having panic attacks and can't eat or sleep. He saw me completely broken, but he still wants nothing to do with me and wants a divorce. I have so much remorse, it almost feels like a constant pressure in my chest, and that's why I'm having, having cramps in my stomach. I still haven't been able to contact her families, and I don't know if he has either. I'm too embarrassed to do that. I just want my life back. I really can't imagine seeing a life without him or him being with another woman. You do not possess a time machine. You do not have the DeLorean, so you can't go back in time and change things or talk to your younger self. It's not going to work. Except reality. You screwed it up. It's over. My life has crashed into one million pieces. And I'm just trying to pick them up and glue them together. Has anyone been able to convince their boyfriend or their BP to come back? Is there anything I can do? I want to die, but can't for the sake of my son. Lady, hold the fucking together, all right? You have a son, okay? He needs his mother, even though you're an emotional train wreck here. Don't make things even worse. 
you will move on. You will survive. You're going to have to lose that weight and get your, your big ass in shape now. But you'll be fine. But enough. Please, Reddit, I hate myself more than you can imagine. I know how disgusting and stupid I am, and trust me, I am paying the price. I just want advice on how I can get him back. You can't get him back. He's done. He's that type. There are people in this world, men and women, especially men, that when they're done, they're done. They can be great and understanding and kind and patient, but once that line is crossed, they are done. And guys, you're looking at what? When people cross me, I'm done for life. We can be best bros five minutes early, but if a line is crossed, I'm fucking done. And it's been that way with women in my life. Okay? All she can do is have some self-respect, hand it in a dignified manner, easy divorce for him. That's how she can show him. That's how she can repay him and move on. All right? She's 28 for Christ's sake. Okay? And, if she, and obviously she's attractive enough that he, he was with her. And uh, she can lose the weight because she's going to get her ass in shape now because she's going to be single. And move on and be a good mother to that kid. And learn a lesson. And don't make this mistake again if she is lucky enough to get another good guy. That's what I say. Now a few comments here because they're always pleasant. Uh, one guy says here, If your husband is not willing to reconcile, then divorce is the only option. He didn't make the decision. You made the decision for him when you cheated. Get into individual counseling and better yourself. And look into the reasons as to why you cheated. Because I think it's much deeper than revenge. Yeah, she's got serious freaking issues. And while therapy isn't always the option because everybody's always ready to jump into the therapist's couch, I think in this one she needs some work. He said, I just read this person's previous post. Yep, this is not even revenge because she looked through his phone and even though she discovered he wasn't cheating, she still decided to cheat. Uh, there, isn't, there isn't remorse for your husband like you say you have, but regret on how your actions might affect you. Yeah, that's it. I, she doesn't feel bad for what she did. She feels bad because she got caught and uh, how this whole thing... Now, she did tell him, but still, it's about the consequences. There is no way you'll be able to repair their relationship because you seem insecure, jealous, selfish, and frankly looking for any excuse to cheat. And another one says here, Look, I'm just going to be very brutally honest here. You need to leave this man alone. You need to step back and look at what you've done and actually take some time to reflect and think about what you have done. You say the feelings of remorse you're having are strong, that's physical feeling, like pressure and stomach cramps. And I get that. I also get the unbelievable physical and mental pain and anguish that comes with finding out the person that you trusted with your life, the person that you chose to spend your life with and create a family with and have had SEX with someone else. That is what your husband is feeling. I'd be willing to bet he'd say he's a catch and you were so lucky because he was a good man, a stand-up man, a great husband to you in every way. When you looked through his phone, you saw that he was not cheating on you or lying to you. He did nothing wrong from what you are telling us, and you cheat on him as revenge. I can't begin to unwrap how I would feel if this excuse was given to me as a betrayed spouse or partner. By the way, the guy that wrote this here, this comment, is uh, was cheated on. There's something in his handle says betrayed spouse or something. I'm trying to find the best in everyone. I know there are amazing WPs who are truly remorseful and willing to work hard and do whatever it takes to find their true issue, and why they cheated and then rebuild a new marriage where the old one once was. I do not think you are ready to do this, and your husband has made his wishes very clear. If you love him at all, if you have any true remorse for what you've done, respect his wishes. Get yourself into therapy, let your husband see your son as much as possible, and be fair, and don't make separation and divorce harder than it needs to be for him. Hey, freaking men. So there you go, guys. She had a great thing going. And I just screwed all up. Drama, drama, drama. But I wish this guy all the best. But if he's, I think he said he's 32. So his prime is just beginning. Oh, really? Guys, but he obviously was in the top percentage guys anyway, since he had all those girls all over him before. But now, now he's in his 30s and he's a doctor. I just hope he's not hammered with uh, spousal support, child support, all that. Because I can see the way her emotions are here. That the second she realizes that's it, there's no reconciliation, he's not going to... I could see her literally like that, turning all those feelings of I want him back and I love him to just pure venom and hate and try to hammer him in any way she could in the divorce. I could just see that coming because there's a, a fine line between love and hate. There really is. It's the, 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 the passions, the emotions behind it. All right, guys, that's it for today. Be sure to comment down below what you think about this. And guys, you come across a really good story like to share. 
by all means, email to me, strongsuccessfulmail at gmail.com. Just give me some time to get to it. I definitely will. And be sure to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.